Hi, I'm Alex with Splunk Education. In this video, we'll learn more about ingest actions and how we can use rule sets to help us mask and filter our data. Ingest actions allow users to quickly author, preview, and deploy transformation rules at ingest time with an intuitive user interface. These rule sets allow users to define one or more rules with a few simple clicks allowing you to mask, truncate, route, or eliminate data without having to access the command line or handwrite stanzas in configuration files. Ingest actions allow you to route to a Splunk index or multiple indexes, as well as an AWS S3 destination. Simply select the subset of data you want to route and deploy. You have now filtered out your less important data while ensuring you have access to it when that potential security audit pops up down the road. Destination configurations and management are not currently supported on deployment servers. It's important to note that the configuration will only be saved locally. In this demo, we have some trade logs that we would like to ingest, but the data contains sensitive account numbers. Due to security concerns, we would like to anonymize those account numbers. From the homepage of the Search and Reporting app, we'll navigate to the Settings menu and select Ingest Actions. At the top of the page, we see options for Rule Sets and Destinations. With the Rule Sets tab already selected, we will click New Rule Set. We can begin by naming the rule set. Selecting a source type will name the rule set automatically in case you forget to provide one. And then add an optional description. Depending on the type of deployment you have, the options presented will be slightly different. For standalone systems, you will have the ability to select a sample file to upload or use indexed data. Currently, on a deployment server, you only have the ability to select a sample file to upload. Since we are working with a standalone test server, we will keep the current selection of indexed data. Next, we will select the source type we would like to apply the rule set to. Only one rule set can be applied per source type. Then we have the ability to adjust the sample size, sample ratio, and time range of the events, and click sample. To the right of the menu, we see our sample events appear and the size of the event stream. The events have an account number currently visible that we need to mask. We select Add Rule and then mask with regular expression. On the side menu bar, we now have options to specify a regular expression to match values in the events and provide a replacement value. Leveraging a regular expression, we match on the account code name and value. Setting the field name and the first five digits as our capture group. Then we specify the replacement as the capture group followed by a hyphen and five X's. We click apply and preview the regular expression and watch the rule set go to work on matching events. There are additional filtering options at the top. We can see all events, affected events, and unaffected events. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can also preview what the events will look like in the final destination without all of the highlighted changes. Let's click Save and view our rule set. Now that we have created a rule set, we are able to manage it from the Ingest Actions menu page. We can preview the name of the rule set number of rules it contains, as well as the source type and destination. Under the Actions column, we can either edit or delete the existing rule set. Let's click Edit and add one more rule. We have an employee that recently got promoted to a different team and would like to filter out events that contain their ID. There are two values we can leverage in our regular expression, the numeric or alphanumeric value associated with the employee. 
we will click Add Rule once more and select Filter using regular expression. The source field is the metadata field we would like to filter on. Options include underscore raw, host, index, source, and source type. We will leave the selection as underscore raw and use our trader's name as the regular expression. Once we type in the name and click apply, a preview of highlighted events that will be dropped appears to the right. Next to the rule, we also see an estimate of data volume saved based upon our modifications using the rule, which means we are saving on license utilization. The event stream will show the initial size, while the final destination, now that the rule is applied, will show the adjusted size. We'll save our new rule set and search for the trade log source type we deployed the rule set to. Any newly ingested events will now have a masked account code value, and any events containing our promoted employee will be filtered out. We're going to head back into settings and set up one more ingest action. We will name the rule set and choose to upload a sample file. Now we can select the source type of the data we will be working with and have the option to browse our local file system or copy from clipboard. We'll select browse and choose the file we would like to upload. The data represents badge reader access for our company's three locations, San Francisco, Boston, and London. We would like to only ingest data for our US locations, so we will filter out any events that contain London. We will select Add Rule and filter using eval expression. The eval expression will look at the raw data and match for the value of London. Clicking Apply Changes will show us any affected events. The eval has successfully filtered out all of the events we needed. So rule sets sound great, right? You might be thinking, how does all of this work on the back end? Next to Save, there is a Preview Config option. Preview Config will show us that rule sets are really just utilizing props.conf and transforms.conf like we traditionally would. The rule set setting is similar in behavior to the transform setting in props.conf. It's important to note that a source type can only be associated with one rule set configuration. And if a transform stanza and a rule set stanza apply to the same source type, the transforms will be applied first. Thanks so much for joining us to learn more about ingest actions in Splunk. We suggest you check out the documentation, watch additional videos on the Splunk How To channel, and register for courses from Splunk Education. Happy Splunking!